Hello everyone, welcome back from some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, Link Evolution, Arc V Story Mode. We are the Tag Duelist and we are here to take down some filthy summoners of some kind. This is, I think, a duel I have not seen yet. Because I know these two characters, I know this character. I don't know who this character is. So they're skipping a lot of uh, duels, it looks like. So this is spoilers oh, Jesus, for me. they jumped ahead of where you are? I think so, because currently where in the anime that this is going on is that they basically do Battle City again. Because they were doing a tournament, and the tournament was like, um, it's, it was a very basic tournament. And then somewhere near the end of it, they decided that they were going to have to turn it into basically Battle City, but it was a Battle Royale. So they put like 10 duelists on the map. And they said, like, whoever you run into, it's basically a duel. But also before this, there was, like, an entire scene of Yuya, like, loses his mind. Because he's usually, like, a happy-go-lucky duelist. But uh, he's dueling against a guy, and he ends up summoning uh, Yuto's card instead. So he ex XZ summons, and he turns into, like, evil, like, I XZ. Like, he stops being, like, the happy-go-lucky guy. <laughs> and he just fucking destroys him. And he's like, I can't. And then he falls into a coma a bit for, I think, for a month. <laughs> so uh, I think they're skipping all that. Why so let's is see. This so edgy. It's really good. You're missing the part where it's like, uh, this is again. They missed another fucking Gong Strong duel. <laughs> it was a tag oh, duel. Oh, dude, they're really, they're really doing bad by our boy. I know. Zuzu and Gong Strong team up, and it's really great. And it's they fight against. What I would best be described as uh, stereotypes, as the Russian stereotype and uh, man in genie pants stereotype. <laughs> so like what Middle Eastern? He, he he plays. His deck is based around La Jin, the genie of the lamp. The mystical genie of the lamp. <laughs> yeah, but he has special <laughs> La Jin cards that are not actually in the game. They had to give this man in order for the racism to make sense. They had to give this man good La Jin cards. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> Yeah, so unfortunately it looks like they skipped all that. But there is this guy is in one of the duels, so let's see how it goes. Let's see how they justify it here. As the Arc League Championship continued, Declan confronted a girl with a striking resemblance to Zuzu. So yeah, they skipped this girl's entire introduction as well. So you're Selena, not Suzu Boyle. She Zuzu, doesn't... Oh, well, who? okay, she looks more like Zuzu than any she of does. the guys look like Yuya, it, I guess. It's, it's the hand on the hip and the eyes. I think that mm -hmm. really sell it. Never mind, she's just someone you look a great deal like. So what then? We've met before. I am Declan Akaba, Leo Akaba's son. We encountered each other other in We encountered each other in the fusion dimension. There's actually a flashback of young Declan helping her escape too. <laughs> you get to see him when he was small. You were the duelist that my father saw the most promise in. Did he send you here and as an advance scout for the impending invasion? Nobody sent me here. I go where I want, when I want, I answer to no one. I've devoted my life to one single cause, stopping my father's plan to invade other dimensions and create one supreme world with dual monster cards. <laughs> They're not going to say that part loud, but I'm going to say it loudly. I'm assembling duelists who can help me defend our dimension from Leo Akaba. I want you to join me, Selena. Save it. I'm only here. Save it! I can't. I can't see Save it the same way ever since that fucking um, Four Kids video of Luffy and Zoro, where <laughs> Zoro, where Zoro's voiced by Sean Chamel. Uh, so there's a part where he has to scream, and he screams Luffy's name out exactly like if he were Goku. That's incredible. It's such a good video. If I could find it, it's so fucking funny. Me and my brother play it to each other all the time. Just because he goes from 0 to 100, he goes like, Hello, Luffy, buddy. How are you? Luffy immediately attacks him and says, Save it! And then you hear Zoro go, No, for lightning! <laughs> like, <laughs> screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> uh, anyway, save it. I'm the only one here to hunt down and capture those who escape from the XZ's dimension. Leo Akaba may not have sent you here, but know this, if you are not my friend, you are my enemy. With the first round of the Junior Arc League Championship completed, the tournament continued as a battle royale. In the next round, duelists will be dueling around the whole city. Well done, Declan. Now the public won't know the difference between tournament duels and battles against the Leo forces. So basically what's happening now is that Obelisk Blue is invading, 
And the way that they can have the invasion happen and people not freak out is to make everyone think that it's just part of the tournament. So <laughs> they're basically just tricking people. Um, right, which means there won't be a panic, although our enemy may panic once they realize what we have in store for them. Another Junior Arc League Championship duelist, Dennis McField, challenges Zuzu to a duel. This is a guy who also uses uh, Performa Pals. He also uses Performa Pals. Hey really? There. There's someone else that uses Performa Pals? Yeah, so what happens is that when the Battle Royale starts, uh, Yuya gets fucking jumped by two other duelists, and he's forced to enter a two-on-one fight because this Battle Royale has no real established rules. So right before he's about to lose, Dennis McField fucking pops out of nowhere, and he's like, Ha ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone! <laughs> it's here. me, Dennis, Dennis McField. Yes, Dennis. And he's a uh, he's a uh, he uh, is a he's the same style of duelist as uh, Yuya and Zuzu, where he's like performing it performance. Oh, he's a dual tainer. Yeah, dual tainer. So he's a dual tainer, and uh, he gives him like a pep talk after he's afraid of playing any card because he's like, "I'm gonna be too dark. I'm gonna be too edgy if I play this Xyz monster, so I can't do it." He's like, don't worry about it. I'll put on a show so that no one can feel sad. And he's basically like giving him a pep talk. He literally shows up out of nowhere going, ha ha That's incredible. He's, yeah, I really like him actually. <laughs> him showing up <laughs> out of nowhere. Him showboating. And it's great because when he joins the battle royale, he takes life point damage immediately because he's like, wait, why did I take life point damage? Well, because you force yourself into the duel. You have to actually take a penalty. <laughs> It's not like uh, the Gong Strong and Zuzu game where it was by accident, so it was okay. Because you force yourself into the game, you're gonna have to take life point damage. So he just gets like fucking shocked out of nowhere. <laughs> it's great. Hey there, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Dennis McField. I think we should duel so we can become better friends. Don't you think, Zuzu? How do you know who I am? My passionate dream is to become a great dual tainer someday. I'm familiar with the Yu Show School and its most enchanting entertainer. You won't get that chance because this next duel will be your last. I didn't Damn, know you. I'm gonna fucking murder you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had a twin. <laughs> and a killer twin at that. Why did this come out of nowhere? <laughs> it really did. She just really popped out of nowhere saying, I'm gonna fucking murder you. She does look like me. We you must be Lulu. I'm Zuzu. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I have business with the Xyz fugitive. Xyz fugitive. Uh, what is that? Don't play dumb. I'm taking you down. Arm yourself. This girl is clearly all mixed up about me. However, a dual tanner always accepts a challenge to keep the crowd entertained. So the the way they're also not ex uh, saying why the, how they're dueling. So the the um, Akuba dudes they put pendulum cards all over the battlefield, and you can't duel anyone until you have a pendulum card to wager. So then you have to like put them up for like betting, and yeah. So that's how also everyone now has pendulum cards is that they basically release it into the wild. That's funny as hell. So let's see, Dennis McField. Luna Light. Unfortunately, I've not seen Selena duel more than one game, so let's see how this goes. And there, she's using something called Luna Light. She's came to the guard from your graveyard and target one. What is going on? What did I do? You can send this card from your hand to the field to the graveyard, then target one Luna Light monster you control. It gains a thousand attack until the end of the turn. You banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one Luna Light monster from your hand. You can only use this effect of Purple Butterfly once. You can discard this card and activate one of these effects. Add one Luna Light monster from your graveyard to your hand, except for Luna Light Black Sheep. Add one polymerization from your deck to your hand. Oh, she's a filthy fusion summoner. No. If, if this card is sent to the graveyard as a fusion summon, you can add one of your hand, one face up Luna Light Pendulum monster from your extra deck or Lunar Light monster from your graveyard, except for Luna Light Black Sheep. And she has Luna Light Cat Dancer. Two Luna Light monsters. At least that's easy to go with. I think I'm gonna use Graceful Charity and see what happens. Okay, let's do it. Oh god. Luna Light. White Rabbit. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one Luna Light monster in your graveyard except for Luna Light White Rabbit. Special summon it in defense position. Once per turn, you can target one spell track or your opponent controls up to the number of Luna Light monsters you control. Return them to the hand. 
Lunar Light Blue Cat. If this card is special summon, you can target one Lunar Light monster you control except for Lunar Light Blue Cat. The attack becomes double its original attack until the end of this turn. Okay. So I feel like I want to actually discard the two blue cats. Yeah, I'm going to discard the two blue cats. And then I'm going to... But... I'll just put this right now. It, the, the, trying to learn deck is very hard when it seems like it's very attack focused and you're going first. So let's see what happens here. Perform a mage! Hat trigger! Oh, perform a mage. Look at this man. One shot wand. He has a 2900! <laughs> That's not good. Perform a mage. Yeah, so he's very much in the idea of the performer. I'll face a monster with the power change this back. Okay. So I think I'm going to summon. Yes. Uh, 1600. Um, go here. Go activate the effect of Blade of Cats. Go here, so that was 16. You can target one spell you can turn to the hand. Back. So now you're back to 11, which is good for me. I'm gonna use this, I think. Hopefully, this does not fuck me over in any way. Oh, uh, Lure of Darkness scares me. It does. Okay, so I can banish one of these cards. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna go here because I actually think I want to get polymerization. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. I feel like I may have messed up a little bit of what to do, but it's fine because we're learning these dudes literally on the fly. <clears throat> what happened to the old days then, when you could just say, this is a dinosaur, therefore it goes in my dinosaur deck? Now the, <laughs> right. times, have, now the times have changed for us. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle. Once per turn during your main phase one, you contribute one other Lunar Light monster from the re for the rest of this turn. The first time your monster your opponent destroys, would be destroyed by battle. It is not destroyed. Also, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls twice each turn. Twice each. Did it, wait, it can just... Okay, I'll figure out what that means soon. This card declares an attack and flick 100 points to your life. Okay, sure. Um, while this card is activated, you can add one level from your deck to your hand. Okay. I'm gonna get that cat lady back, the one that let me get one from the graveyard. Yeah, we'll get you. I'm not gonna activate you right now, but I, I do have you now. Okay. I really should have looked what Hat Tricker did. Okay. They're destroyed. That's good. Alright, Dennis McField, do what you gotta do. No. 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 No, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna activate this now, may as fucking well. I'm gonna get tired. It's not like it's an extremely like game changing card. What an asshole. Oh, no. Yee, what an asshole. What the yeah, hell? That's half our life. That's half our fucking life. He dealt 4,000 in one turn. Okay, let me see. What effect can I activate? Oh, this get this is the one that gains a thousand. Okay, so no. Wait. I thought that was when I discarded it. Hmm. You can manage to discard from your special from your hand. Okay. Hmm. One. 
Okay, so if I special summon one of these... I need to be able to basically summon two of these in one turn if I want to do what I want to do. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do what I want to do. No, let me see. Which one of these returns matches and trap cards back to the hand? Uh, that one, I think, the little rabbit. Was it? Is it the rabbit? I think so. You okay. Yeah. Summon the rabbit. And then I could probably just get the back Luna cat dancer then. And then she'll be put in attack mode because of the first attack, final attack orders. Okay, we're good. So, hmm. I kind of want to see what Graceful Charity is going to end up giving me. Fusion Recovery would actually be very useful right now. Ego Boost, when this card declare, when a monster declares an attack, target one face-up monster, gains a thousand attack. I think I can probably win this turn if I play smart. I have to get rid of two cards though, so. I'll get rid of these two. Use fusion recovery. I think there's a way. We need to um, get the. Oh, fuck, which one is it? Yellow. Is it the yellow one? No, Crimson Fox. We need to get Crimson Fox in the graveyard because that will reduce the attack of their monster to zero. And then you can just attack it over and over again with that. Um, with this guy, with this girl. That right one. Here. Yeah, Cat Dancer. Trying to contribute one more from him. And... Huh. That would be actually very useful to have right now. So, let me see. I don't think I can do that right now. No, we would need to draw into her, it looks like. May as well summon another one. Here's the thing I'm trying to see if I have enough of the. Probably don't. Now that I think about it. I'm trying to see if I can win this turn. Mm, I uh, don't think so. No, I don't think so either. I only have one of these that give a thousand up, so let's go into battle phase. Right there. I can probably just use this. Go here. Ego boosting. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Take that, Dennis. Fuck you, Dennis. Exactly. Fuck off, Dennis. Though I have a feeling because you have Performer Pals, you have a... Given the fact that you were able to summon a 4,000 attack beat stick on turn one, and that I'm not actually destroying... What is this? The bubble barrier? Each Performer Pal and Performer Mage monster you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Okay, so I think we just win then. Alright, Zen. Him. We did it. This one was actually legitimately kind of tough. But Fuck he loses you, because of the 100 damage. <laughs> if only. Boom. Her skills as a fusion summoner are incredible. Does that mean she really from the fusion dimension? Suddenly, Obelisk Force, warriors from the fusion dimension, <laughs> answering her question immediately of whether or not she was from the fusion dimension, <laughs> invaded the tournament to capture Zuzu and retrieve Selena. Selena is absolutely critical to our negotiations with the who is this ninja boy? <laughs> to be fair, I think I remember him in the tournament, but I don't think he's actually done anything yet. I think he's just been silently a ninja. <laughs> Uh, Selena is absolutely critical is this, to is our... Is Ninja Murasaki's, like, descendant? Yes, this is a, a, a Ninja Boy Murasaki <laughs> from the Murasaki clan. Um, Selena is absolutely critical to our negotiations with Duel Academy. Send in the Strike Squadron <laughs> of Duelists. Oh, look at that. We got Dennis unlocked. Pretty good. All right, and I think that is good for now. We will continue on. I really look need to get, get back. Look at that point on this man. Look, go, look at that guy's head. Yeah, this has to be an obelisk blue soldier, and I don't know who this one is. 
right now the people that are dueling are not people who are showing up. I think the current person that I'm on is like a fisherman. Like the, the cook duelist has not shown up at all and the cook duelist was in a lot of things. It's funny who they choose to keep and who they choose not to keep. They chose to keep the little girl, the one that has a, who believes her soulmate is Yuya, but they did not bring in the chef boy. So interesting choices. But yeah, that's it for now. We will continue on with the story and see what is going on with these fusion summoners invading the world. <laughs> Till next time, everyone. <laughs> fusion, dirty fusioners. Yeah, filthy fusion summoners. Terrible. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.